old, decrepit, and struggling. Tonight, those are the words the MTA chairman is using to describe the state of our transit system. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here, here now with more on the warnings about the century-old system. Marsha? Well, Jessica and Maurice, MTA chairman Jano Lieber is not exactly chicken little saying the sky is falling, but he wants New Yorkers to know that unless the agency spends billions and billions of dollars on repairs, the roof could cave in literally at Grand Central Terminal and the Park Avenue Viaduct used by trains from the Bronx and Westchester. It's all of Metro North. And by the way, that's not all. For New Yorkers, transit is like air and water. We need it to survive. MTA Chairman Jano Lieber sounding a clarion call about the daunting need to repair an aging $1.5 trillion regional transportation system over the next 20 years so it becomes a story of the survival of the fittest. Right now, it's definitely not, according to the agency's assessment of what has happened since the first capital plan by then MTA Chairman Richard Ravitch in the 1980s. The components that were middle-aged in the Ravitch era are now old and decrepit. The myriad of problems that need fixing include the Grand Central train shed and the Park Avenue tunnel, which are crumbling, endangering 98% of Metro North service, preventing much of the Hudson Line from a sea level rise that could flood tracks and stations, repairing 100 Long Island Railroad bridges and viaducts, upgrading 50 miles of Long Island Railroad signals, where up to 75% of the components are rated poor, upgrading obsolete subway repair shops like the Livonia maintenance facility that is 101 years old and can't fix new rail cars because they don't fit. And the need to replace buses, train cars, and subways. Over the next 20 years, 3,900 subway cars alone will reach the end of their useful life. 1,500 cars are already past their 40-year limit. And here's the cold, hard reality. It's not going to come cheap. And some even grimmer news. Officials say congestion pricing, which is supposed to raise billions for capital improvements, won't take care of these new needs. It will fund the rest of this capital program. Where are you going to get the rest of the capital dollars needed to do the repairs like the Park Avenue Viaduct and, and Grand Central? That's the work of the next year and as we put the capital program together. And our capital programs have always been composed of contributions, support from a lot of different sources. Well, what that means is that the MTA will have to get more money from the state, more money from the federal government, and if push comes to shove, there's always the possibility of raising taxes, or dare I say it, raising the congestion pricing fee. At 6, I'll tell you about the things the MTA intends to do to improve and expand the system. Hmm. Jessica Marie. Can it go any higher, the congestion pricing fee? <laughs> oh, yes, it, it can. It can always go higher. All Everything right. goes higher. Thanks, Marsha. <laughs>